Hi, I'm Karthik Suranshi, Research Assistant at Robotics Research Center, and I'll be presenting our paper titled Omnidirection Tractable 3 Module Robot. Pipelines have been in use for transfer of oil, gases, and fluids for a long time. Despite being ubiquitous, pipelines frequently fail due to corrosion and scaling by chemicals or by clogging. They are expensive to inspect, and it is often difficult to determine the exact location of fault through external examinations. In such situations, robotic inspection where the robot travels inside the pipe and inspects for any cracks or faults becomes important. There have been many research efforts towards the development of a robot for in-pipe locomotion. Many configurations like the articulated snake type where driving modules are axially separated have been developed. Configurations with separate driving and steering mechanisms have also been explored. The robot configuration with three driving modules fixed 120 degrees apart circumferentially have been extensively researched and our work focuses on these robots. These robots are dynamically stable, have superior mobility, and close form kinematic relation can be easily derived for such a configuration. But the robot with this configuration cannot negotiate T-junction every time as shown in the abstraction of one such robot. Sometimes the orientation of the robot while turning in T-junction is such that one of the modules loses contact with the pipe surface. This was termed as motion singularity in earlier research works. We propose a robot with three omnidirectional driving modules fixed on tractable arms. The omnidirectional modules allow novel holonomic capability which helps the robot orient the modules away from the singularity region which is defined later in the video. Now talking about the design, the robot has three omnidirectional modules which are placed 120 degrees apart on linear springs. The design is such that it allows for asymmetrical compression and also allows for setting the home height of the module. Each module consists of two motors. One motor is used to drive the crawler chains and the other is used to rotate the module about its central axis. The crawler chains have quarter shaped studs called lugs. The lugs provide circular cross section to the modules which provide more contact surface area and holonomic motion capability. Coming to the kinematic model, we build upon the previous kinematic model where we also add the effect of holonomic motion of the robot. We formulate a Jacobian which maps the input motor velocity to the output, linear and angular velocities of the robot. When the robot is turning in the T-junction, it encounters different elliptical pipe cross sections of varying eccentricities. If the orientation of the robot is such that one of the module loses contact with the pipe surface because of the elliptical cross section, it is defined as motion singularity which was coined by Young and his team in their paper. In case of motion singularity, only two modules would remain in contact with the pipe surface and hence the robot would not have sufficient traction to negotiate the turn. In our paper, we find the motion singularity region in the elliptic cross-section based on the intersection points of the circular geometry of the robot and the elliptic cross-section of the pipe. A sector is formed when the projection of region is taken onto the circular cross-section of the pipe at the end of the turn. For our robot, we find the sector subtends 96.54 degrees and so the robot has to rotate such that it avoids this region. Simulations were conducted to see if the robot could turn in T-junctions. It was performed on lump models of the robot where the lug chain assembly was replaced by hemispherical balls. A simplified model could not capture the exact dynamics of the system but gave us instrumental kinematic and design insights. We got to know that the robot starts traveling in the opposite direction if the modules are rotated by more than 180 degrees by one such simulation. The physical robot was made with ABS 3D printed parts which made the iterations quicker. The modules were designed around the smallest available Pololu motors which made the modules small. Small modules in turn allowed for greater compliance in pipe diameter. In the experiments, we first make the robot climb vertically and take a right turn. Cameras are installed at the end and at the bottom of the T-junction. The novel holonomic motion allows the robot to orient the module away from the T-junction and negotiate the turn every single time. In the second experiment, the robot is driven straight over the T-junction. The holonomic motion capability also allows the robot to orient its modules away from the given in region of the T-junction. This makes the movement smoother and also reduces the chances of robot getting stuck compared to other robots. The 
holonomic motion also allows the robot to come to a standard preferred orientation while turning in elbows, such that the speed and drying modules can be given some standard values according to the geometry of the turn. This reduces the computation load as the calculation is based only on the radius of curvature and the pipe angle. Exact speed do not need to be calculated for individual modules. To prove this, we test the robot at 45 and 90 degree turns and we see that the robot goes smoothly at the preferred orientation. Since then, we have also developed a one input and three output passive differential that we have filed for a patent. This would help the robot negotiate elbows passively more smoothly without the need to calculate the exact module speeds. Thank you for watching the video and stay safe.